I'm Ryan Napton and this is Practice Ridiculous, the series where I'm going to show you the specific drills that I do to get good at foosball, to you know, become a top expert. And there's just some drills that you got to do at home to really take your own foosball to the next level rather than going to tournaments all the time. You get a certain experience doing that or spending money on going to the big ones. You get a lot of ex tons of experience going to those ones, but it costs a lot. But this is a drill that takes about six minutes once you're good at it that you can do at home. And it is by far the drill, single drill that has probably helped me the most. I have a ton of these type of things, but this one specifically really helped control, uh, get my ball control to the real, uh, really high level and it is just like say, say I get home from work and my hands aren't feeling like shooting yet and maybe they're tight but uh, just getting up to the table and doing 100 times walking the ball up and down on the five bar and by doing that you know if, you, if you're at the, about the 15 minute level it's you know they'll you write it down do it once a day and you'll see your times drop drastically and your overall ball control increase substantially and you'll win a lot more games because of it because of you just sitting there with the five bar really honing in those skills so let's get to it GoPro to tape this because uh, then I'll be able to use my phone to set a timer and see how long it actually takes. One hundred of them. Five minutes, seven seconds. That's actually my second best ever. That's crazy. Uh, five minutes and four seconds, like almost a decade ago, was my previous best. So that's actually insane. Because, yeah, I still do a hundred, but I haven't taped myself or uh, recorded, timed myself on, on it in a long time. So I'm extremely impressed by that. Um, dang. Because, yeah, I've wanted, I've, back in the day, I always wanted to break that five-minute mark. And I was never able to do it. I've still also never done a hundred consecutively in a row, and I wanted to do that too. Uh, but yeah, end up losing it around 74 or something, and that's a little frustrating. But nonetheless, back to the point. That drill, put on some music and just chill out. You're gonna feel it in your hands. You're gonna need to try to relax your hand while doing it. And if if it's your first time doing that. It might take you half an hour. It might even take you more. But just do the 100 and then the next time's faster. The next time's faster. And all of a sudden you can get down to, if you're even in the seven or eight minute range, you're gonna be substantially better at foosball just because of your ball control on the five bar than if you're only, uh, if, if you are still at the 15, 20 minute range. So it's just all about improving your own ball control. So give it a whirl. One of my favorite drills to start off a practice session with. Now I'll get loose and start cranking some balls in now that my hand's a little warmed up and even the other hand is. So, yep, happy foozing and see you next time.